physician scientists contribute to life-saving innovations, from insulin to immune-targeted therapy for cancer. If your dad has a heart attack, it is the work of physician scientists that contributed to the medicines that saved his life and improved his outcomes. Or, if your family member gets diagnosed with cancer, the work of physician scientists has and will continue to improve their survival from cancer. The work of physician scientists has helped get us the highly efficacious vaccines for COVID-19, which will be crucial for ending this pandemic. But physician scientists are endangered, making up only 1.5% of today's workforce, down from 4.5% in the 1980s. Poor funding for research is a major contributor to this decline, and the pandemic threatened them further. That means that further improvements in diseases like cancer and heart disease are threatened. We need physician scientists more than ever due to COVID-related health consequences such as long COVID and other health consequences such as dementia. Protecting the physician scientist is a matter of safeguarding your health, national security, and maintaining our competitiveness on the international front. We can save the physician scientists. We need to provide bridge funding and increased grants dedicated to physician scientists. These are examples of what physician scientists are working on and how it may save you or a loved one in the future. Dr. Sahin and Terechi, for example, they were working on an mRNA therapy that would be used to target cancer. When they realized that this technology could be leveraged to develop a COVID-19 vaccine, they pivoted their work, and thus was born the first and highly effective COVID-19 mRNA-based vaccine. My research focuses on the devastating brain tumor glioblastoma, the same tumor that killed Ted Kennedy, John McCain, and Bo Biden, among many others each year. I work on trying to prevent adverse cardiovascular outcomes associated with cancer therapy. I have had young patients who have died from cardiovascular complications, such as heart failure, due to their chemotherapy and not due to their cancer. Research in this area will help improve the outcomes of cancer patients and protect their heart through chemotherapy. We thank our publicly elected officials for their support of biomedical research, research that will help address disease burden. Unfortunately, in the recent relief package, support for biomedical research was left behind. We would definitely like to put our support behind the RISE Act that will help research that was derailed by COVID-19. We would like for our publicly elected officials to support a $10 billion increase in NIH funding and a $3 billion increase in the National Science Foundation funding. Additionally, we would like for our publicly elected officials to support the physician scientists to be able to add on to the RISE Act three-year bridge funding for physician scientists that will allow the nation to buy their protected time. And also, due to low funding rates for physician scientists, we are requesting that there will be at least a 30% increase in K wards and R01s that are dedicated to physician scientists. Hopefully with this support in place, we will be able to rescue our physician scientists. Thank you.